Protesters are demanding answers and action this morning over a toxic mess in Florida. We reported last week how a poisonous algae bloom is plaguing four Florida counties now under a state of emergency. At least one beach along the coast is closed. Omar Villafranca is in Stewart, Florida and shows us why the demonstrators are so angry. Omar, good morning. Good morning. This isn't some private secluded beach. This is actually a public beach, but it's closed for the red, white and blue holiday because of the green algae. What do we want? Green water. Protesters, instead of sunbathers, filled Florida Stewart Public Beach on Saturday, demanding this toxic mess be cleaned up. These people need to put their money where their mouth is. We're losing our, our way of life here. People here blame state politicians for allowing polluted water to be released from Lake Okeechobee and into the St. Lucie Estuary, one of the areas that has been covered in algae. Oh, good stuff. Bill Lauda, a research professor at Florida Atlantic University, has been helping to collect and test the algae that has wreaked havoc along Florida's Treasure Coast. If I was in, in government, I would say we've got to stop the pollution. Lake Okeechobee is the largest freshwater body in the state, but it's polluted with runoff containing human waste, animal feed and fertilizer, all nutrients that algae thrive on. To manage flooding, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers releases the lake's water into surrounding rivers and lagoons. We just are putting way too much nitrogen and phosphorus into our natural waters and they respond. Florida Senator Marco Rubio saw how badly the water responded on Friday and described the situation as a catastrophe of epic proportions. To allow emergency funds to assist the businesses that have been wiped out by this, have the health care agencies come down here and look at the long-term impact of this bacteria that's now present. Professor Lauda says there's no quick fix to the problem, at least not one without a disastrous domino effect. If you kill this algae, you're going to kill the seagrass, the macroalgae, all the good phytoplankton that the fish need, everything else. The algae is actually hard to keep up with. It moves with the wind and the tide. We don't have an estimate on how much this algae will cost businesses over the holiday weekend, but we do know it could take weeks for all this to wash away. Jamie? Omar, thank you. And that's really the biggest problem is this ripple effect that can end up happening. You have fish kills, you have businesses impacted. Mm -hmm. Weeks at the very least. I mean, the professor makes a good point. There's no, there's no quick fix mm -hmm. to this. They may unfortunately be dealing with it for, for quite a while. Let nature take its course somewhat, right? Yeah.